Hello everybody and welcome back to Arms Trade Tycoon. I know, I just finished a stream not too long ago with this game, but uh, I couldn't help myself. I wanted to get back in here and play some more. So, uh, what up Liam? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Welcome back everybody. Uh, as always, as I said in the first episode, make sure you guys check out the description. I do have the fact, I had the uh, links to the Discord, the Patreon, and the... Um, Steam store page for this game if you guys are interested. It is a PC game um, available through Steam. It is currently in closed beta, so everything you're about to see is subject to change. But uh, welcome back. I, I could not stop. I had to I had to get back in here. So y'all know me. When I get interested in something, I, I, I end up like burning myself out on it. So we're we're gonna push push through. Uh, anyway. You guys should be able to hear something now, right? You guys can hear the music playing in the background? Hopefully. Because that was one of the oopsies I made in the first episode. Alright, you guys can hear. Beautiful. I apologize for uh, the, the issues that we had in the first stream. Let's get this party going, shall we? So, let's remember where we're at. Uh, contractually, we have no contracts currently. We currently have $2.1 million. We are building on to the production hall as well as the research bureau. Uh, I don't think we can currently add any more uh, things. I would love to add the uh, rolling hall, but I, I can't. I think we have to have at least, uh, or we can only do like three things at a time. I lied. You can totally do other things. But I can't do this one. Is there... Surely there's not just... Yeah, because this looks like a spot. This looks like a spot. This looks like... I mean, it looks like you'd have multiple spots. So, weird. Maybe we have to wait until the ergonomics office is done. And then we'll, we'll try it. Um, but, as you guys remember, we just finished coming up with a new design for a ridiculous little medium tank. Our, um, what do we call it? We called it the uh, Diablo, Diablo design. Uh, this little turd. So uh, she's gonna be nasty. Uh, she has five. Yeah, she has five flaws due to being a little too heavy. But, overall, it should be a pretty solid design. So, uh, the next thing we want to do is, we've got 45 days? Are we not, re we're not researching anything. Let's research. Okay, so... We want to go into firepower and research the new um, 3750MH uh, HE March, Mark II, essentially. So, let's go ahead and do that. That's going to take 23 days. Start it. Because I want to get over here and have some some really awesome, cool, cool firepower as well. So, that'll give us a new HE round. We are going to be able to get, like, light naval gun. What is this? This is a three-pounder. So this could be potentially fitted to a smaller, smaller weapon, or a smaller tank, which would be kind of crazy. Because um, we already have the Hotchkiss six pounder, which is this one. But then coming up, we also have the Hotchkiss QF six pounder six C, which just comes up with a little bit more of everything. 137 firepower versus 109. And this gives us 124. So this 3-pounder is technically better than our QF 6-pounder right now. Which is a little crazy. But uh, either way, we've got we've got our ideas where we want to go. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, go back here. We did just finish a project for tracer rounds. But I also wanted to look at, like, we have the medium... Hornet here. How much if we were to do the medium hornet or medium hornet with this? How much does this weigh? This weighs three thousand. So that'd be two hundred and sixty kilograms less. 
if we went for just regular wrought iron rather than the uh, rolled steel. Hmm. Just trying to think if we could, like, make this slightly better, but I don't think we can. I think we're pretty much at our limit. So I think for now, I think for now we just gotta go. Speed up time. But welcome everybody to the stream. A new diplomatic agreement between Italy and France. Beautiful. Okay, I've got to try to figure out if there is like a pause or a play button. Like you would think it'd be spacebar, but I don't have it. And there aren't, uh, I guess there actually is settings. Um, it doesn't give me controls though, does it? Wait, why is this showing that we're on Apprentice? I swear we chose Entrepreneur. Weird. Alright. Well, I don't know. Uh, I was hoping that there would be, like, some sort of, like, controls to give me an idea of, like, what the individual hotkeys is. We know that we found some of them. Like, W brings up, uh, or no, that was E, sorry. E brings up the battlefields. How are we doing? It's not going to tell us, is it? Looks like it's leaning in our favor, though, if we just judge this. The Army Corps goes grow stronger for Norway. Okay. Classified information. Uh, trench sets issued to the front. Not content anymore with spark transmitters used in aircraft. The British Army has deployed thousands of what they call trench set. Mark 1 radio to improve coordination and communication. Beautiful. Uh, Ibiza Town has finally come to an end. Spain seized the battlefield. Okay. Check a little bit further. No change really there. The Diablo Mark I tank trials has finished. Good. <clears throat> Austro-Hungary has rearmed its infantry with horse transports. Good luck with that. And now we have the ergonomics office finished. Yeah, the music is pretty nice, and I'm so sorry that you guys didn't get to hear it for the first four hours. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully folks will come back and, and check the stream out. Um, I know I, I kind of goofed everybody by having to end the stream because of technical difficulties, but it's all good. It's all good. Worst case scenario, they can get caught up tomorrow. It's the beauty of having view on demand. But uh, we just finished the ergonomics office here. I would like to get the rolling hall. Are we not allowed? Maybe we're only allowed four buildings right now? Facility slots four Okay, so that now we know that right so we need to figure out a research that allows us to have more facility slots or something along those lines uh, I don't know if it's a research or if it would be here um, Construction department provides a bonus for construction so that'd be reduction of construction time by 20%. Hmm. 
Interesting. Okay, what about research bureau? Is there anything? I don't think so. I don't think there is. I think we're just stuck with it. Okay, well, the more you know. Maybe over time we'll unlock more slots. We'll see. The war has ended between Spain. Uh, Spain triumphed and now controls the corresponding territory. So, Spain defeated Italy in battle. Let's check out the global map and see, see what we were fighting over here. Spain is fighting Portugal there. I wonder, did Spain end up like, is, is this what they got? Because I don't see any, any more like territory further over. That's Austro-Hungary in, in Italy fighting. Interesting. I didn't see if this was uh, Italy or Spain that owned that to begin with. But... There's a lot to learn when you're first starting out a new game. The Battle of Z Zutphen has ended, or Zutphen. The Netherlands seized the battlefield. Okay. So far, it looks like we are leaning towards winning this battle, so. Portugal sees the, that battle. So, Portugal versus Spain in Villanova de Gaia. Wait, how did that work? I don't know. I don't get it. it looked like we had the advantage. I'm not sure how that works. Okay, so two more days left in the research. We just got it. So we want to go back in here, open up our research. Oh my God, Clyde coming in with another $5. Let's bang this off. Thank you so much, my dude. Thank you for your fifth super chat, my guy. Appreciate you. And then Fresh Baklava coming in, re-upping for 10 months. Thank you so much, my dude. Get some goats in the chat. Also, hello, Zachary, Rio, Manny, good to see you. All right, uh, so we just unlocked the improved HE. So I think we want to go for this light naval gun and see what this does. This little three-pounder. It will take how long? 56 days to research. Otherwise, we could, in, we could unlock armor piercing, which will take 61 days. Hmm. I think we go for the gun. Give me the gun! Alright, that will take 57 days to unlock. Uh, then the next thing we want to probably work for is maybe this uh, petrol 50. And then in terms of fire, or in terms of structure, uh, getting the extended rhomboid might not be the worst. That is a Mark V, plus it comes with a turret, so yes, please. <laughs> it said it was a sight, so I guess that's a sight, not a turret. I thought that was a turret. Either way, could be fun. So we'll probably go for that next, which is going to take 105 days. This will take 89 days. Maybe we'll go for the petrol first and then the hull. What did I just click? Did I click the administrator? Oh, no, I didn't. I'm good. 
Okay, so that's being researched. Uh, we just came up with the HE. So I don't think we need to change anything there. We could potentially come up with a design for the... Oh my god. Fenley coming in dropping 10 gifted memberships on the chat. Thank you so much, man. You guys are way too generous. Thank you, guys. All right, so if we go down to the medium hornet and create a new design. What happens if we use See, this weighs 514 versus this weighing 949. I mean, there's really not that big of a difference in terms of size of the engines because there's two of these. Oops. No. If you're going to do that, you got to click on this. There you go. Could do that. That would give us an agility of 12... 13, 13, whereas if we go with this, we have 14, 15, 16. Okay, so that's definitely better. From the track standpoint, again, we want the Hornet. I mean, we could use any of the, the tracks, technically. All right, let's, uh, let's try this, see what we got here. Can we change anything? Crap. Uh, go to the engineering. I want to see if we can get those tracks to be better. So, we're currently using, like, RHA steel, right? Like, yeah, RHA steel, bolted assembly, ammo, all of the things. That's not the tracks, dummy. God darn it. Um, yeah, Hornet Mark II. So, we've got the Idler Mark IV... We don't have any track inserts. Okay, this is the one that we were using. Is there anything? I don't think so. I think those are the best tracks we have. I don't think there's any way to, like, make them... Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we have a way to make that any better. Um, let's see. Medium Hornet is fine. Ricardo's six-cylinder is fine. Uh, the Hornet... Mark II tracks that we have, or no. Uh, remove that. Hornet Mark I. That's, that's the one that we made. Okay. In terms of guns, uh, on the sides we wanted the guns to be gone. And then on the rear, also gone. Front should have the Hotchkiss 1900 belt fed monster. So we've got all of the goods. I just don't think we, we actually ended up... To, the only thing that's changed here... Um, we have gunner... Driver... Uh, 
commander. I think we want to keep it with three people. So commander would have to be commander... Gunner? Driver? Being a driver? Forget how we did this. Gunner... Mechanic? Okay, maybe it was uh, Commander... With Driver Mechanic as well. Okay. So we have a fully fleshed out Commander. He, he's able to just be a Commander. Then we have a driver mechanic and a gunner mechanic. And that gets us where we need to be. Okay. Expendables. Should have tracer ammo and standard ammo. And then we have the petrol 47. And then for paint, I think we went with the leaves. And we called this thing the... What did we call this? The Diablo. Mark 2. Safe. Alright, and Diablo Mark 2 is going to weigh the same amount, have slightly better attributes, gonna cost the same yeah it's just gonna be slightly better aside so our best design just got a little bit better so that's good news also hello Aiden Ian appreciate you dropping in Vince as well thank you guys so much get some goats in the chat for those guys that uh, donated memberships and, and re up their membership and donated money please you guys are awesome. Alright, so 57 days there. 13 days here. Still waiting for a new contract. Uh, resources? Let's go ahead and order some more resources. Doesn't, doesn't hurt to do that. So, who requires the most resources? Uh, 192, 182. So this technically does. So we'll, we'll go for like... Ten of these for now. Fair enough. Just make sure that we have all the resources. Because if a, tr if a contract does come up, I want to be able to use that tank. Because I'm pretty confident in that tank uh, being an absolute monster. Alright, and we did just finish the mobility lab. Battle of Eid started between Germany and the Netherlands. Battle of Barcelos. Barcelos started between Spain and Portugal. Okay, and they are actually using our tanks again. But again, they only have five of our tanks. So if you want to do better, oh wait, we had this battle here that, that happened. This was a draw, apparently. Outcome. How did this work? So, blasted incompetence. The tank's overall performance was nothing short of a disgrace. What? Contributing to a lamentable outcome on the battlefield? Like, how is it? How was it a disgrace? So first battalion, I mean, they had 10 versus our five. I would love to know like more about it. Like if they had 10 and we had five and we lost two and they lost three, I feel like that's a win. I don't know how that's bad. <laughs> Uh, let's look. Deployment. 
Um, deployment score was minus four versus minus 20, so we were better than them. Shocker. Wounded or damaged, two. Killed in action or destroyed, two. Okay, recon. We got an ambush bonus of 10%. And a little bit better recon than they did. Okay, targeting. All mounted weaponry were employed to engage the enemy. The tank's remarkable ability to aim at the enemy was a sight to behold, striking fear into their ranks. Again, not seeing how this is a bad thing. They had a lot more guns, it looks like, than we did. So they, they brought a lot more guns to the fight. Okay. Tank's sluggish mobility was a hindrance on the battlefield. Yeah, I, I, I understand that one. I do, I do get that. Okay. Tank's sluggish mobility, yeah. Okay. Well, we're working on that. We're trying. We, we've got some new things in the, in the pipeline. Don't, don't hate us. The tank's exceptional performance in hitting enemy targets was a sight to behold as its shots landed with devastating accuracy. Again, this doesn't sound bad. <laughs> like, for what it is, it sounds like a good thing. Multi-weapon bonus, ambush hit bonus. Uh, hit score was plus 57. Hit score for the, uh, that was the Hotchkiss. Uh, dodge score was plus 34. Their dodge score was plus four. Yeah, good luck dodging us. They just brought more guns at the end of the day. Any critical hits? Okay, the QF six pounder versus this. Okay, uh, I, I guess that doesn't really show us a whole lot. Yeah, it just shows the hits. No misses. Okay. All right, well. Um, ricochets? Non ricochets? Ricochets. So our Hotchkiss was ricocheting off of their tank. Not to mention our gunner, our machine gun was as well. Uh, the tank's impeccable gun and ammunition selection proved to be our salvation as the rounds found their mark without a single ricochet. Yeah. I mean, that's good. I guess. And then, penetration? The tank's exceptional gun and ammunition combination proved to be devastating as we uh, penetrated enemy armor with unwavering precision. Okay. The tank's exceptional gun and ammunition proved <laughs> That's just the same thing over and over again. As their explosive impact delivered devastation up de or devastating damage upon the enemy units. Okay. Repairs. Tanks proved to be a testament to British ingenuity as our skilled engineers worked tirelessly to restore many battered machines after the battle. So there's that too. So we were better or easier to repair as well. So I feel like overall for our first real battle, I think we did well. It may have ended in a draw, but it was five versus 10. So like, I, I feel like we were fighting from behind right out the gate. What up King Swag? How's it going? Reed as well. Appreciate you guys all dropping in. CSI, how's it going? Sean, I think I already said hi, but hello. Is this game a purely build game? It's a tycoon game. You gotta, it's a t money management, uh, all that stuff. Like, it, it's a tycoon game, but it is a build, and you do get to drive your inventions, but then you sell them. So you get to test drive, uh, as I'll show you in seven, seven days when we finish this. Uh, 
Okay. Resources will be delayed. That's not a problem. Diablo Mark II design has been completed. The Battle of Belluno started. That is between Austro-Hungary and Italy. Are they using our tanks? Nope. Still not using our tanks. Unfortunate. I know Italy has some. So let's go ahead and test drive the Diablo Mark II. Shall we? start. So this is the tank that we just came up with. See how it ends up performing in the battle. For the most part, it's going to perform just like the, uh, the first one. But it should have different ammo types and stuff like that as well for the uh, extra bonuses. That's the main the main difference. And you guys should be able to hear it this time. the hill. Whoops. Turned a little too soon, I think. All else fails, just keep firing. <laughs> what up, Valen? Like I said, the only downside of this tank, I think, is going to be its uh, lack of hard-hitting gun. It's got it's got two buzz saws, but it doesn't actually have like uh, that big pack a punch, you know. Point the gun down! Beautiful. Boy, it rotates on a dime, though. <laughs> Can you imagine a rhomboid lawnmower? trench no problem all 
right, see if we can't snipe the vehicle again. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, continue. We got our, our goal. So when we do those test drives, the goal is to hit 300. So as long as you break 300 points, you, you pass the test drive, which is why it'll always say you didn't finish the course, because there's a few more targets just down that road. But if you've shot everything up to that point, you will not need to shoot anything else. All right, so let's go ahead and send that thing to the Proving Grounds, get it, get it tested. And hopefully we get a contract in the very near future, because I would love to use them. And I have no idea how people would enjoy, uh, or what people would enjoy. Like if, if they uh, would rather have the Mark III of the older tank that has the bigger gun, or if they would like a uh, Diablo. The Trojan Horse Mark III is, is a pretty formidable tank. Uh, what was I doing? I was going to look at the, the, like, different things. I don't think anybody has any new trophies. <gasps> they actually do. Wait, we already... We already bought that. Never mind. Uh, France, do you have a trophy? Trophy? No. Uh, Germany? Trophy? Nope. Um, Denmark? Trophy? Nope. Austro-Hungary? Trophy? Nope. Italy? Trophy? No. Spain? No. Okay, well, it was worth a shot. I was looking to reverse engineer, engineer some stuff. Yeah, it seems like that tank's going to be pretty decent. Again, it, it's lacking its big... It, it doesn't have a big gun, so it's la lacking the ability to knock out, like, heavy armor or, or bunkers. But, anti-personnel should be pretty solid. And even light armor. Swamp obstacle. Okay. The Kugel grenade. I don't. I don't know what the Kugel part is, but Kugel hand grenade sounds an awful lot like a freaking hand grenade. <laughs> so I can assume that that's gonna be bad. But we got we got like cages over top of the tank, so no hand grenade should be a problem. What did we just finish? Oh, I think it was the tank trials. And now we have unlocked the ergonomics office. Okay. Well, uh, for the moment, I mean, I think that means we can hire more people. But I don't think we actually need to right now because we ain't building anything. Um, yeah, we can we can hire up to 400 people or we can add another 10 to our uh, engineers. So let's go ahead and hire another 10 engineers. That should speed up the process a little bit. You know what? I'll just go ahead and hire a hundred of these guys. Might as well. Fill out the staff. Get ready. I'm expecting another contract, hopefully in the near future. Preferably. Okay, new resources have arrived. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to build some more or get some more resources. Go from Asia. It's gonna cost some money, but that'll give us a good, good amount of resources. So we're just preparing, waiting for the contracts. If we get a contract, we're gonna knock it out of the park. Um, Marcelos and Battle of Monosinos. 
from uh, Portugal and Spain. Okay. This one actually has our uh, our tanks involved again. They again have ten. We have five. Not ideal. I don't think we actually had any. Yeah, I was gonna say we didn't even have any soldiers in this one, or we didn't have any tanks in that one. So hopefully, hopefully we'll do better this time. Next. Between Italy. New military equipment. Italy has rearmed its in in infantry with Jam 10 Bundle. Okay. Weird. What up, Lanzas? Welcome. <laughs> nice. <laughs> five I see I see what you said now it does sound like a track I mean that's what they were the the tanks are essentially tractors that's what they were built for they were military tractors uh, early on especially France and Switzer Switzerland and we sold some stuff to France crap I clicked the wrong button surely France is gonna use some of our tanks now no, they're not. <laughs> Come on, I want to see what happens when somebody takes 20 of my tanks into battle. At this point, I just want somebody to, like, order some more tanks. Get low on money. New resources are here. Good. I mean, we're ready to build some. That would be a great time. Still no contracts, though. We get a pop-up every time that a new contract pops up, so I'm just kind of waiting. 13 more days till our research is done. From a battle standpoint, there's still nothing new going on here in terms of our tanks. Uh, this battle is still still raging. Oh wait, this is a new battle. We had a second battle here. So, we actually won this fight. Nice. It was a defender, or we, we defended. So, we won in a defense. Remarkable reliability, all the good things. Okay. So, that's good. What is this one looking like? So, it looks like we're going to have three Trojan Horse Mark Threes versus one of their A7Bs. Plus, we have 24 units of artillery, the Madrid Brigade, and 8,000 troops versus 9,000 troops. Now, I'm not an expert, but three versus one with a superior tank to theirs, that should be a win. We have artillery, they don't. That should be a win. And the fact that we have almost as many infantry as them. If we lose this fight, and by we, I mean if Spain loses this fight, they really got to go back to the drawing board on how they're fighting. <laughs> Like, they gotta come up with some better tactics. The war has ended between France and, uh, Zura. France has triumphed. Fantastic. The Battle of Verona between Austro-Hungary and Italy has concluded. Uh, looks like Italy has seized the, the battlefield. Very, very nice. Contract number eight. Let's go. It is the British. They are raising a new regiment, the 3rd Battalion. All right, let's go. The British like my tanks. 
What tank would you like, Britain? Would you like the Mark III? Yes, you would. Or would you like the Mar the Diablo Mark II? No, not so much. But this is like better in every set, like with the exception being, like we don't have the hard firepower. That is the biggest thing. So it wants protection, firepower, like hard firepower and repairability, which is why it really, really wants the Mark III. All right, well, don't let me stand in your way. If you want the Mark III, we'll build you some Mark III's. It is clear that people are not ready for the Blitzkrieg. It's fine. Uh, when do you want these by? You guys, it is currently 1230, so essentially January 1st, and you want them by March 9th. It shouldn't take us more than like 30 days to produce them. So yeah, this deadline's fine. We'll get you 20 of them. And I want a lot. A lot of money. Um, let's see. I mean, we could technically go up with this, right? I mean, is this going to help anything? Like, if we produce 30 of these... Like, they wanted 20, but if we produce 30... What are the competitors? 295? Psh, psh. Boy, we're going to blow that out of the water. We'll just jack up the price. All we got to do is beat 295. There's 297. That's still a win. That's 50,000 a piece. That's a hundred and... Or, uh, yeah, it'd be... 1.5 million dollars. Let's go. I'm I'm good with that. I think that's fine. We can do that. We can build 30 of them. All right. Boys, get to work. 30 of them. We want all of them. Wait, what? Uh the Mark 3. Mark 3, build 30 of these bad boys. Aside. It's going to take 32 days to build 30 of them. Beautiful. Okay. So, that's beautiful. Hopefully we don't have any accidents. Because that, that's the one thing I didn't think about. If we run into accidents, that could be a problem. Because accidents equal delays. What up, Arizona? How's it going? Yeah, it's kind of like UAD, but instead of, uh, like, managing an entire country, all you're doing is designing and building tanks and, and s like, selling them. Or trying to sell them. Alright, so... That is the thing. 32 days, that will be finished. Glad everybody likes the Mark III's, huh? Might be time to come up with a Mark IV. Uh, I forget what we're researching. We're researching the light naval gun. New diplomatic agreement between Spain and Germany. Interesting. Okay. Uh, they accepted the contract. Shocker. Rival tank has come up with a new infantry support tank, the Hera. Okay. And the Germans have come up with a new artillery, uh, or rearmed its artillery with a 15 centimeter, which is not ideal. That's a 150 millimeter cannon. More than we got. Of course, it's artillery, so it's not like it's going to direct fire us. Uh, 27 minutes. Uh, we, we just finished this, right? No, we got one more day. One more day! There we go. This is now finished. That was our light naval gun. All right, that is the firepower side of things done. I mean, I kind of want to go straight for this. This is 137. But it'll take how long? 50 days to research. Hmm. I mean, we could go for this. This will take 41 days. That is armor-piercing ammunition. That is actually kind of good for all of our stuff. That will give our little tanks a little bit better of a chance against armor.
conversely, we could just go for this. I think w this is where we're going to go. Go for it. We're going to go for the extended Rombodio Hall. The Mark V Hall. Start that. I think it's I think it's time to come up with a new tank. Like a full full thing. We're about to hit like iteration four of our uh or the Mark IV variant of our original tank. Alright, so now we want what did we just Oh, we just unlocked the uh, small small gun, right? So I actually want to go to the guns. I want to look at the Hotchkiss 3-pounder and see what we can get away with. Is there anything in here that we can do? We got the Gun Breach Mark II, um, which has a 7 rate of fire, 6 gun depression. Four elevation. Gun Breach Mark One has a slightly lower rate of fire, but has better gun elevation. Hmm. Okay, we'll leave that as is. Optics Mark II is probably just better across the board. Question mark. It's lower range, but uh, two anti ricochet instead of one. And then it weighs six pounds or six kilograms instead of ten. And then three accuracy versus two. So it's more accurate, it's lighter weight, uh, has better anti ricochet, but lower range. Okay, we'll hold that. Uh, it's got a pivoting seat, that's fine. Recoil cylinder, Mark II. Uh, it is just better across the board. It's lighter, it's got. Uh, Decent gun elevation and depression. And then, of course, we have a recoil guard. You know, just in case. You don't want to lose your your face, preferably. Again, lighter weight. Gun depression. And the gun depression is better. Gun elevation, not so much. All right, well, that's fine. Well, then that's good because we shouldn't need to uh, actually, yeah, uh, or we, we just assign to, we don't need to change anything. So we'll let them come up with that. That'll take eight days to come up with the new weapon. It's a smaller gun, but technically better. Like the accuracy is better. The range is slightly worse. The rate of fire is substantially better. Gun elevation is slightly worse. The gun depression is slightly better. Anti-ricochet, a little bit better. Damage is 11 versus damage of 13. So slightly less damage, but we have a higher rate of fire, so that's fine. Uh, kinetic penetration is 8 versus 3. So we don't have as much penetration because it is a smaller gun. That makes sense. And shock penetration is two. Hmm. Primary weapon reliability is 11 versus seven, so better. So it's more reliable and more repairable. So it's, it's better across most of the board. So it's probably just a better option than our original gun. Even if it doesn't have quite the same kinetic penetration or ability, it still should be very nasty. Plus, that rate of fire is pretty disgusting. So, all right. Um, what was I going to do next? Okay, that's doing that. That's already researching. Don't think we need to come up with a new design. We're already doing this. We have 64 days remaining there. Okay. The Battle of Udini between Austro-Hungary and Italy. Anything? Nope. The war has begun between Britain and Denmark. Use a Yami turret? 
I don't think we'd have the uh, ability to use a Yami turret unless it's like a stationary freaking firing like platform. You definitely aren't moving it. All right, let's keep it going. Contract number nine between the... Is that Norway? Yeah, Norway. All right, what would Norway like? Uh, they really don't like us. They want hard firepower protection and repairability. Seems like everybody's got the same ideas. So they probably want this more than anything. And they don't even want that because reasons. I mean, if we went with... I mean, they only want 10. The biggest issue that these guys seem to have with us is protection. Like, everything else is, is adequate or better. But they want protection, and we just can't offer it at this time. I understand, but I can't. So, for now, I think we have to pass... Because, I mean, I don't want to drop our price way down. Like, legitimately. But you can see, like, very quickly, like, I'd have to give these tanks away to these guys, and that ain't worth it. So you guys can go screw yourselves. I'll come up with a better tank someday that you guys might enjoy. But for now... No. No armor thickness means no tanks sold, apparently. Except to countries that don't care about armor thickness. The Battle of Famalos? Famalaka? I, I quit. I quit trying to, like, call out what these battles are. <laughs> um, we have two battles with our tanks in it. That's good. What was the outcome of this one? Uh, we were the winners! As expected. Good. Outcome report. Uh, bla blasted incompetence. The tank's overall performance was nothing short of- How?! The tank's swift and nimble movements on the battlefield were a sight to behold. So we were better than there. In that sense. Okay. Recon. We were better than them. Targeting. I mean, yes, they have... I mean, our gun was better. Like, our machine... Machine gun... Gewehr... Machine gewehr. Golly, I can't speak other people's languages. I can't do it. Alright, well, we already know what we're getting there. I think... I think we've got an idea. So... This one will be an interesting one to, to check out. So, they have 10,000 infantry with 1,200 cavalry. We have 1,500 cavalry, 5,700 infantry. So, we are vastly outnumbered on foot. But we have, we have 24 artillery and 20 Mark II tanks. Oh, yeah, that's right. These guys only have the Mark IIs. Ouch. Uh, that's going to be awful. They're going to hate that tank. The Mark II was terrible. Mark III was much better. <laughs> Should name the company Lockheed Martin? What do you mean? It's Elite Armor Solutions. Like, how, how much better of a name could you get? That's like the best name ever. Vickers and the Armor Race. Uh... Vickers' recent breakthrough seems to have turned the tide for a short while. Okay. That's not good. Another battle between Denmark and Britain. They are using some of our tanks again. They are, again, using our Trojan Horse Mark II's. Oof. Good luck. Next. The Battle of Braga. Okay. 
75 millimeter artillery. Fair enough. Trojan Horse Mark III, 30 tanks completed. Go over here. Time to sell them. All right. Uh, we want to sell all 30. How much time do we have left? 38 days, so we got plenty of time. Only problem is if we choose this, we can only send 20 at a time. So we're going to have to go with uh, this one up here. So let's go with that. It's going to take 12 days. Could potentially take 19 if there was a delay. Yeah, that's a, that's a great saying there, Lantus. What up, Emmy? Welcome. All right. Let's keep going. Okay, the Army Corps grows stronger with 15 centimeter artillery. We've already maxed out our build slots here, so we can't do anything more with that. Uh, we could potentially do some stuff here. Which would allow us to have an extra 10 engineers. for the Breakthrough Bureau for that extra critical hit chance. a bonus for designing. Ooh, optimization sounds like a good one. Optimization and lo localization both sound good. Defects also. These all sound so good. Okay, I think if we want to maximize these, we could go with these two and this. Might not be a bad idea. Let's do that. adds extra resource storage. Bonus to delivery reliability. That would actually be a good one. Percent of raw resources returned to the player when stored Store tanks are scrapped. Haven't had to do that yet. Wait, we could do naval? think we need to worry about that too much if anything maybe the stockpile but I don't really want to spend money on it right now we haven't had an issue with it uh, that being said I do want to go ahead and order enough resources to build some more of these mark threes so we will go to Asia for that please and thank you
open up Worldly Pitfall. Uh, it's not World of Tanks. It's a game called um, Arms Trade Tycoon Tanks. It's a beta on PC right now where you get to design and build tanks and sell them and manage essentially an, a tank builder company. Tank design company. Armor design company. I don't know. You get what I'm saying. Alright, so... 40 days there. Uh, we're waiting for those to be delivered. Contract 8 has been completed. Beautiful. We are rich again. Any contracts currently available? The Norwegians still want a tank. I don't have a tank that they would be interested in, unfortunately. Like the Mark III is kind of the closest thing we have to a tank that they would be interested in. And it's not, not enough. So, just have to let that one go by. War has begun between Sweden and Norway. A new trophy has appeared in Britain. The uh, St. Germain. Okay, I think we will. Let's go uh, check out Britain and see if we can't grab a new trophy tank. The Saint Germain. Okay. Uh, it's $42,000, but I'm going to buy that and we're going to reverse engineer it. Maybe a Di Diablo with a big gun will sell, sell. Yeah, I mean, if we could, uh, if we could put a big gun on the Diablo, it probably would sell really well. But unfortunately, we can't at this time. All right. That being said, we did just. Oh my God. Okay. First of all, we're getting this haul. This haul is insane. What? What am I looking at? <laughs> It looks interesting. All right, well, let's go ahead and start the uh, process of uh, grabbing the hull. That'll take nine days. Yep, Cole, we're back being an arms dealer. What up, Jessica? Welcome to the stream. All right, let's keep the party rolling. Battle of Oslo. Between Sweden and Norway. We did just finish the Breakthrough Bureau. Times two. Okay. Uh, are there any new administrators? I haven't checked. Nobody. Fair enough. Okay, so... I think we got seven days left on the engineering... Or the reverse engineering of the hall. New resources have arrived. Beautiful. Battle of Udine ended. I mean, for the most part, we don't really need to look at the rest of that. We know how it's going. Jam tin bundle. Okay. Alright. This just finished. Now we want to reverse engineer some other stuff. Let's see what they got. Wait, uh, I clicked the wrong button. I want to reverse engineer. Um... What is this engine? It is a four-cylinder. I feel like 
We don't really need that. These are all Mark II. I don't think we really need that. What about the gun? 75 millimeter gun? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> Let's go ahead and reverse engineer that. That sounds like a great thing to reverse engineer. Give me their gun. As for their little tiny pea shooter, they've got an Hotchkiss MLE 1914, which, I mean, I think we've got better than that. Yeah. It'll take 18 days to reverse engineer their gun. I keep clicking the wrong button. <laughs> Christopher with a K. Also, uh, rail fan. I apologize if I missed you. I did miss you like an hour ago. I'm so sorry, my dude. Rail fan coming in for a month. Appreciate you. Christopher with a K coming in for 12 months. Appreciate you. Get some goats in the chat for, for everybody. John with a JH first. How's it going? Mad love from Ohio, my dude. All right. Uh, so 18 days there. We got 13 days there. Just keep the party rolling. Battle of Venice has started between Austro-Hungary and Italy. Battle of Oslo ended. Okay, we can actually see, like, this was a draw. This gave us campaign points. That was a win. That was a win for the... Uh, Portuguese draw. Okay. All right. Well, fair enough. How's this one going, Britain? Still on guard. Okay. Uh, BLC fifteen pounder. From the Italy's or the Italians. Battle of Vesta Manier, Maniar, whatever. I I quit trying to pronounce these. I I'm never gonna get them right. Just gonna keep butchering them. All right, new diplomatic agreement, and our research just ended on the extended Rhomboidal Hall. Beautiful. All right. Let's figure out what we want to do next. We have the Central Cab Mark 1. We have the Female Mark 2, which we haven't even been using. What is this good on? All right, uh, that'll take 80 days. Mobility. What, what can we do here? Extended high pass running gears? I feel like that would be a good one. Gives us a 39,000 pound weight limit or kilogram weight limit. It'll take only 42 days too, so let's go ahead and get that done. Get her done! Right. Back. What up, Bravo? Welcome. Jonathan, good to see you as well. Came out of the water. Footage has been iffy. Wait, what? Spartan incoming news water. Uh, bravo, this game is called uh, Arms Trade Tycoon Tanks. It is a PC game. It is currently in closed beta. They have um, links in my description. I have links in the description for their uh, Steam page if you're interested. 
their Patreon as well if you want a chance to pick up or get access to the beta uh, and then the uh, Discord page as well. Um, it's a pretty fun game so far. You literally get to design and build your own tanks and take them into battle. Or I don't get to take them into battle. I get to design and build them and then sell them. And then they get to take them into battle. I get to test drive them. But this game is very early on, so it's going to change. The goal for this game, from what I understand, is to go from, like, the original tanks all the way up through modern tanks. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, once they flesh out the campaign and stuff, this game is going to be even better. Uh, so far, I've been enjoying it. I've played, what, this is an hour in, so we've got about five hours into the game so far today. All right, so five more days there, 43 days there. Let's just keep it going. Army Corps grows stronger with another 150 millimeter. Okay. The war has begun between the Netherlands and the Germans. Okay. All right, uh, we have finished re reverse engineering the gun. So, what do we want to reverse engineer next? Um, maybe, maybe the track? Yeah, let's go for the track next. Go for it. Five days. What up, Noriko? We are back! Um, new dog, lots of people with- wait, nah dog? W wait, what? It's all over the news. You talking about Godzilla coming out of the, out of the, the like thing? I, I'm confused. Did Godzilla make a like an actual appearance? I'm I'm so confused. All right, five days left for the reverse engineering. Let's get it going. Battle of Christian or Christian's Land, Christian's End. Okay. Between Norway and Denmark in Iceland. Fair enough. Okay. The running gear have been researched. Let's go ahead. The ten-foot-tall aliens in Miami. Of course, it would be Florida. Why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised that it's Florida? Alright, uh, I guess now we'll we'll research their four-cylinder, even though I really don't care. Because I don't think there's anything that's going to be useful here. But, we'll do it anyway. You never know. Glad you're enjoying it, John. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully they can uh, they can add to the game relatively quickly. They seem like a pretty solid, uh, you know, developer who's going to be active with the community. So, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing where they go with it. All right, six six days left there, thirty three there. Battle of Arkans. Light Tank Gambit. Light tanks have already been in use for quite some time, and yet the nations deploy that the nations deploy them just as they would any other tanks. France in particular and their high command have described these tanks as feeble in the face of the enemy and a waste of resources. Renowned French industrialists, however, are not content with the state of affairs. Have having been approached by Colonel Estienne, they plan to massively increase their production in a new bid to change France's doctrine and swarm their enemies in the Metal Beasts. Okay. Well, we already have some smaller tanks ready to go in case that's a thing. The Panhorn Lavasser four-cylinder. That sounds about right. Reverse engineer the rest of it. We should be able to get the gun now. Three days to reverse engineer the little Hotchkiss, which, again, we've 
already got better than that, so I'm not worried about it, but... Uh, your dad comes to you and says, look, that happened last night. Over a hundred cops called to this call. Witness seen 10-foot aliens. Ten-foot shadow aliens. <laughs> Again, I'm not... I, I'll believe... I'll believe aliens are here when I'm getting probed. I'll be real honest. Like, I, I just... I don't think that aliens are going to be anywhere near us anytime soon. I think they exist out there, but to cross the amount of amount of like distance that you would have to be able to cross is insane and I don't think any any species has been able to do that yet that's just my opinion do, 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 do. what was I doing three three days left for that Th 30 days there the Battle of Braga has ended Portugal seized the battlefield uh oh finish the reverse engineering process all right next I want to try to come up with some new stuff so if we go in here we should be able to look at these and come up with something right like we could come up with this and just make it our own this would be essentially a tank destroyer. How are we looking for protection? 25, 12, 11. Is it better than our Mark II? Yes, it is. Considerably. Okay. I want to add some ammo storage. I want external comms. Uh, looks like your guys' external comms are better than our external comms for some reason. We have a little bit more operational range. Yours weighs twice as much, but gives a little bit more crew awareness. Or ours gives a little bit more crew awareness. What am I talking about? Ours weighs twice as much. Yours has just a little bit more range. So I think we go with that. Um, we don't have anything that goes there. For the roof, what does this give us? Obstacle trench width. This is just a... We can have one or the other. We can't have both. Well, given the, the nature of this tank, it is kind of already, like, angled on top. What is the uh, roof ricochet? Top ricochet is six. This doesn't give us any top ricochet. This does. This would give us a top ricochet of 17. Which is probably for the best. And we know that they have like things now, so we or grenades, so we gotta keep that in mind. Um hull hatch. Who has the best hull hatch? I feel like we do. Uh, 441, 321. So that would be better. It is heavier, though. We're adding a lot of weight. Uh, the hull hatch Mark III gives us 8 safety. Is light is lighter than this. Top thickness is reduced... To three, or is actually thicker than the one that's currently on it. 
and gives us a plus one. Okay, I think we go with the Mark Three. I love how everything changes too. Like everything that you add to the tank changes. All right, now we have this hall door that's right here. Um, again, our hall door Mark Two gives a ten to safety. We know how much safety means in this. It's a little bit. It's not quite as thick. It's only one one less though. This is the German hall door, which gives six to safety, but is slightly thicker. But I kind of want their crew safety. Uh, as for sights, three, four, two, six, five, three. I think we put that on there. That's pretty obvious. Six, five, three. Though this is six, five, three as well. They both weigh sixty nine, or they both require sixty nine. Weigh two hundred five. I guess it just comes down to personal preference. They. Like, whether you want the, like, little telescope or periscope, or if you want the actual, like, stick your head in it and look out. <laughs> I feel like the periscope is probably the better bet, because it doesn't put your head in danger. Speaking of putting your head in danger. Hmm... Yeah, I think I think putting putting this here is probably better. Um, I don't see anything. Let me let me check though. Um, is there a change in accuracy? I don't think there is. Like, crew aiming is the same on both of these. So yeah, I think better not to stick your head up in a new little box. Okay, um, from wrought iron, we can change that to the RHA steel. Which is just better overall. Gives us shock resistance. And also doubles our kinetic resistance. In terms of the riveted assembly. We could go with bolt assembly. But which bolted assembly are we going with? We got the uh, British bolted assembly. 510-3. 312-5. The Germans are actually better, but it costs like three times as much. So, I think we go with the British bolted assembly. In terms of the vision port here, we've got 333, 334. Four four four. I mean, that seems pretty straightforward to me. Four 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 is better. Uh, in terms of ammo stowage, we go with that. And in terms of fuel, we go with that. So we've got fuel stowage. We've got ammo stowage. Okay. A sign. That'll take 13 days to come up with that hull. Alright. 24 days there, 13 days there. Uh, let's go ahead and start ordering some more materials. Um, we'll just order materials for, say, the Trojan. Uh, out of Asia. We can build 13, or order for 13 of them. It'll take some time to get here. I didn't see that a new contract was made. It hasn't. So for now, we hold. OK, 
Okay, we have finished the optimization, the localization, and the functionality department. Beautiful. Also, functionality department. All right, it's just, okay, it's just showing us the different buildings. Forgot. I do like that they do show the, the buildings, though. It's kind of nice. What's up, Kevin? All right. So, 11 and 22. Army Corps grows stronger with a Pioneer Axe. The Battle of a Q, whatever it is. Okay, we have finished the hull. Beautiful. Now we want to look at, is there anything else that we need like, let's go to the design and see if we can design that hall with the tracks that we currently have or if we have to come up with a version of their tracks for the hall. So if we go to the Saint Chamond, we use that for the engine, go for the Ricardo six-cylinder. Um, for the tracks, we can use our own tracks. Beautiful. Okay, what is the weight limit of these? Uh, no. Forget. I think it was 30-something thousand. Whereas our... Hornets have 21,000. Okay, so we might want to go ahead and redo the tracks. Okay, let's go ahead and do the tracks. Engineering department, where are you? There you are. Because it seems like their tracks have a a higher like uh, load capacity. So this has a mass limit of twenty six thousand five hundred, whereas this has a mass limit of thirty four. Oh wait, the warhorse is that much more? The warhorse Mark II was that not in the thing? Were they not able to fit in the or on this tank? That could be. Either way, let's try to come up with uh, something that'll work. Let me look at the design again. If the war horse is available, then I don't need to change anything. Okay. Whoops. The war horse is not available. Okay. That makes more sense. So we have hornets which have a 21,000 capacity. So we probably want to use their Krushat. Uh, Krushat Krushat Yep, yeah, screw it. <laughs> screw it. Um engineering. Let's go design their tracks. Tracks, running gear, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, this starts with 26,500, so let's see what we can do. So we've got road speed, cross-country speed, and operational range. We have Sprung Rollers Mark Mark 1, which weighs less than theirs and adds more road speed and cross-country speed. So I think that's obvious. So this would be better than this. If it's lighter and is just better. Then again, we do have Sprung Rollers Mark II, which is 973. Road speed, cross country speed, operation range is less. Okay, let's try with that. Idler, uh, 311. Well, we have lots of idlers I think we even have idler mark fours don't we yeah 212 232 
three two two. I think we go with our idler mark threes. Okay, sprocket four two one five seven two five five four five five three four three four. I think we go with that. I mean, the Germans have a lot better road speed with their sprocket design. But cross-country speed is much worse. So I think we go with our Mark IV sprocket. Okay. Assign it. It'll take four days to design. I'm glad you guys can keep yourselves uh, entertained in chat because I can't. This game requires me to think about too much stuff. I can't. I can't keep up with y'all. Like I'm, I'm just completely entrenched in the game. It's crazy. All right. Four days, eleven days. Let's keep going. Beautiful. All right. Now we should be able to design the new, the new tank. All right, the San Shaman. We will use that hall. We will use our Ricardo. We will use our brand new Krishat tracks. Uh, in terms of guns, crap. We never actually built the gun. Dang it! <laughs> I forgot. I forgot the gun. <laughs> what up, Ernie? This is uh, Arms Trade Tycoon Tanks, where we get to uh, design and build tanks and uh, sell them to the highest bidder. All right, so we have to come up with the... That's the Hotchkiss. We want this one. Okay. In terms of recoil guards, Um, this gives us a better recoil guard for gun elevation and depression. So we'll go with that. In terms of the gun breach, uh, I feel like we want to make the breach faster. But this gives us 10 gun elevation with this breach. Or, yeah, 10 gun elevation. Which is crazy. It doesn't have the best rate of fire in the world. Gun depression is... So this gives us better gun depression, but this gives us so much more elevation. Which... Is pretty nice. Otherwise, we could take the Gun Breach Mark 1, which gives us 5 Depression, 5 Elevation. That's not as reliable. I think we, I think we stick with this. That extra Elevation is going to be really crucial for uh, a tank, like a fixed gun mount. And then Optics. This is where we should have better Optics. So um, our Optics, we got the Optics Mark 2. Which gives us better range, better anti-ricochet, and better accuracy. So, anti-ricochet is the same. Accuracy is much better on this. So, we'll go with the optics, our own op optics. Uh, make it happen. That'll take 17 days. Good lord. All right. Speed up time. Uh, Belgium and Switzerland. 
created an alliance. Battle of Viana has concluded. Okay. These were draws. Keep it rolling. Just finished the extended high pass running gears. So what do we want to focus next? If we go for mobility, that gives us the petrol octane 50, which is actually huge. So I think that's what we definitely want to go for. It's going to take 50 days. And then we have a V... A V-shape engine. It's a V-12! Oh, we're going to be throwing a V-12 in very soon. Oh, let's do it. I can't wait. It might take a while, but we're going to be doing that for sure. I want to throw a V-12 in, in anything. I don't care what it is. Just give me a V-12. And I, I'm, I, already, I already know what I'm going to call the engine, too. I'm going to call it a Versace V-12 just for my, my buddy Bullvi. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. With push to start... All right, um, 10 days there, 51 days there. Okay. We just finished the gun. Do we have to... Uh, for those running gear, do we actually have to complete those? It's the tadpole, right? So if we look at the tadpole, see what we got. 447555. Okay. 114 versus 132. This is lighter weight. What are we missing? Just overall reliability. So slightly less reliable, but better overall. So that's going to stay. Uh, in terms of idlers, we have the idler Mark 5s, which gives us 1, 2, 4. So not quite as agile as I'd like. So the main thing is that it's just more reliable. These are a more reliable thing, but they're not quite as agile as what we could get elsewhere. Like our idler Mark III's were more a more agile. These are more reliable. What do we want? Do we want reliability or agility let's go reliability all right uh road wheels three five three six six three the germans Or no, these are just our road wheels, aren't they? So these are lighter weight and are just better across the board. Why would I want these then?
Weird. Um, in terms of the sprockets, we have sprocket mark fives. I think this five five three. Yeah, sprocket mark three. And then cooling veins, go for it. Alright, save it. Make it a thing. It's gonna take twelve days. Yeah, thank you guys all for joining me. Hopefully you guys are enjoying so far. Sorry if I don't get to talk to you guys as much in chat as I do in, say, like, Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought, but this being a new game, I'm just try I'm trying to learn everything, so I'm kind of, like, engrossed in what I'm doing. Glad you guys can uh, talk amongst yourselves. Tadpole Mark 1 is finished. Let's see what we can do now. And I'll be interested to see if those tadpoles will actually fit on this. I doubt they will. But, like, if we go with this... Go with that. Yeah, the, the tadpoles do not fit. But we do have these now. We have the gun. In terms of, of guns, I would believe that this is our fancy Hotchkiss that's probably better. Yeah, this is our fancy Hotchkiss. just better across the board okay um that's at the rear so that'll help keep things off the back off the sides okay now no idea if this is actually going to work out, but we'll, we'll see. We may have to swap out some guns, but uh, I do want to kind of check this out. Uh, if I were to drop any guns, it would be these side guns. We go there. Drop those. That saves us a little bit of effort. All right, selected crew. Obviously, commander. Driver, gunner, mechanic. And then if we added another... Yeah, that's going to immediately hurt us. Okay. So we got to try to make this work if we can. So commander, gunner. Driver. Uh, we need a loader. But driver, mechanic... It gets us what we need there. And then in terms of gunner, gunner loader. The problem is the commander isn't enough. All right. Um, we would need the commander to be by himself. Or doing his, his actual just commanding. But now we need a gunner.
Hmm. As much as I hate to say it, I think we're going to have to get rid of that rear gun. Um, back here. I think this has to go. Patch it. And then if we go to selected crew, now we have... Commander Gunner. Oh, see, I, I still need the commander to just be a commander. Driver mechanic. Gunner loader. Hmm. Alright, I think I'm going to have to have a second gunner loader. Or we just have a dedicated gunner. I don't want to, because it hurts the stats so badly. But, like, if we just go straight gunner, yeah, you can see we drop five points immediately because of crew safety. Which is not ideal. But, I don't think we have a choice in this instance. And, since that didn't seem to stop, a, if we're going to have to do that, we might as well put this gun back in. Go back down to our Hotchkiss. Throw that in there. That gets us a 6 out of 8. Yeah. Alright. That also helps protect our rear. So that's good. Alright. I think that's as good as we're going to get there. So let's add some ammunition. We do have HE Mark II and Armor Piercing. So we'll throw those in there. And then we have Tracer Ammo as well as... So 535... Two, so these are both the same, so that's good. And then we will throw the petrol 47 in there. All right, uh, I think that's about as good as we're gonna get for this particular tank. We do need some paint though. Aaron coming in, dropping the $5 bomb, returning it. Yeah, I dropped that the other day, I'm sorry. Appreciate you, my dude. Thanks for dropping in. Uh, what do we paint this thing? I mean, we could go with the, like, French, the French paint. Could go, like, gray. A little, little German-esque. I've already got one there. I think we already have like a racing stripes. Maybe we'll go with the camouflage one for this one. Kind of like that. I kind of like that. All right. I think that this will do okay. It's not amazing. But in terms of armor protection, it should be much better than what we currently have. So that should sell better to other markets. We still have machine guns, just in case we need to use them. And we have a much bigger main gun. I don't know how well this will do at crossing uh, in terms of, like, trenches and stuff. But in terms of anti-tank, it should be good. What do we call this thing? I should buy Tank Mechanic Simulator? Uh, I actually bought that on Xbox a long time ago, or I, I got it through Game Pass or something. I forget. Uh, it looked interesting, but on Xbox it was terrible. I would have to do it on, on PC if I was going to do that. What up, Frostman? How's it going? Torch, good to see you as well. 
What should we name this, guys? I mean, it kind of looks like a boat, if I'm being honest. Or a, a freaking overgrown bathtub. Spartan Bertha. Those sides are flat. Yeah, the sides are real flat. That is very French. This is this is what ends up evolving into a fosh. Name it the brawler, the tumor. It's not a tumor. <laughs> a Rod gets that one if he's still here. It's not a tumor. Tubbo, Pinocchio because of the gun sticking out the nose. That's not bad. That's not bad. Maybe swordfish. What about that? Marlin or swordfish? I think I like swordfish. The swordfish mark one. The dagger. Valen says he likes that. The marlin. The walrus. But it's only got one tusk. Yeah, I think we go with that. Alright. Um, save that. And go ahead and assign. Take 14 days for them to design that. The FAT tank? You're not wrong. That actually is pretty good. The slug. I was also thinking slug at some point for us, man. I, I was I was at at least considering slug. All right, so that'll take 14 days, 28 days. So we just keep going. Okay. So many battles. New diplomatic agreement between Spain and Italy. Also, contract number 10 for 20 tanks. Um, I'm not ready yet. What about the Swordfish Mark 1? Ah, it's only a 16. Really? It's the protection again. I mean, it's a start. They really don't like the lack of protection. Like, the Germans are really all over the protection. They're like, we need armor. All of it. We don't, we don't care. Just armor everywhere. Um, how much time do we have? 31 days. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll hold for now. I am going to have to come up with something. So we have the design. Let's go ahead and send it to the Proving Grounds. Let it do its tank trials. Then we want to go to Test Drive. Let's Test Drive the Swordfish Mark I. Let's go. Have I ever watched Octonauts? I have not. Narwhal, yes. Narwhals are a thing. I've got no sound. Oh, it's just extremely quiet. Dude, you can't hear this thing. It's so weird. This is the quietest tank ever invented. Talk about stealth. Also, this thing moves really well. Like, there's no engine noise whatsoever out of this thing. It's so weird.
I think there's a bug. I might have to uh, report that to the uh, developers. This this hall seems to have no no sound. The guns sound like I thought my I thought something was wrong on my end again. Oh my god, this thing is freaking phenomenal. What? Like this thing is legit. I think we found a new, uh, a new best tank. By a long shot. This thing's insane. Don't forget, this is actually a beta, guys. It's closed beta, actually. So uh, anything is subject to change. There, w the developers are likely to patch a lot of this stuff. Uh, we just gotta find. Look at this thing go, man! It does not care. This is the greatest tank ever built up to this point in history. Lord have mercy! It just eats the terrain. Okay, does have some downsides. It has some downsides. There's there's no doubt about that. But the upsides far outweigh the downsides, I think. Being able to get my guns on target would be nice. Dude, this thing is great. Like, it just chews up the terrain. It does not care. Doesn't even, doesn't even, like, hurt itself going over trenches and stuff. Like, she good. She real good. And honestly, the uh, main gun even has a decent amount of, uh, where the heck? Okay, so, that might be a bug as well. Like, it, it says that it can't aim where I was actually aiming, so maybe I need to, uh, report that as well. Like, the, the circle to me tells me where it's actually capable of looking. And uh, you saw there, it was pointed at the ground, and I was able to shoot the, the target. So, just little things. Little things need... Yeah, the swordfish is disgusting. It, it really is. Uh, I think that's going to be a very, very potent design. Uh, contracts. But you want 20. How many can I build? Like, how long would it take to build 20 of these things? All right, we can build 20 of these things in 20 days. Jesus! I can build 20 of these in 20 days? Damn! All right, contracts. Uh, so, you need this by when? 626. Oh. Oh, no, that's the application deadline. When do you need them? 8-5. I mean, we could easily hit that. Dude, we could totally build more of these, too. Um, 
Can we build 30? We could totally build 30 of them. Hmm. The contract with his Germany, huh? It's got a 16 success score. The enemy has a 308 success score. So we need the uh, price to come down. If we build 30 of them for you, we can drop the price down. Problem is, I don't know what our profit margin is. Did you say it was? 308? Okay, if we could sell them to, to them for thirty-one thousand a piece, thirty-one thousand seven fifty. What is our actual price? Okay, this is the cumulative man hours cost. Total resource cost. I wish there was like a way... Okay, this is this is what we got. Okay, so this is only costing us $11,450. So that would be a pretty decent profit per tank, even if it's not the profit margins we're used to. I think we go for it. I think I think we go, I, I think we go for it. Uh, go ahead and build thirty of those. Make it make it a thing. Um, and then contractually, give them this. Uh, build thirty. They want it by eight five. We can build thirty in thirty days. Uh, what was it? 27,500? Oh, okay. That, apparently that was not the correct. Thirty days puts us right at the end of this month. That gives us a month to deliver. So yeah, that's plenty. Okay. We go with this. This should get accepted. So we will officially be selling to the Germans now as well. All right, we're committed. Let's see what happens. Let's see. She should be a very, very successful tank. All right, speed up time. Okay. Uh, one thing I do want to go ahead and do is start re reordering our resources. Uh, I think I think the swordfish is going to be the way to go for the future. So let's go ahead and order plenty of resources for these things. Um, we can order 19, 19 tanks worth of resources from Asia. Let's get it done. Is this our first time in closed beta? Yeah, this is this is our first playthrough. So I have no idea how long it lasts. We're currently in uh, 1916, so. I think we've done pretty well for our first playthrough. We have been accepted, beautiful. Tank trials have been completed as well. Okay, we just finished our research. Let's go ahead and keep researching. 
Um, what do we want to go next? Mobility. I want. I want the V12. Get it done. Give me the V12. Brother Monroe has officially released his mod. All right. I might have to check into that. I don't even know what his mod actually changes. I know there was some changes, but I don't remember what he changed. So I might have to check into it. Okay, there's the resources. Um... Ended before we got to get the V12. Elite Armor Solutions is a success. Thank you for playing. We ended up with 13,770 uh, achievement points. So there you have it, folks. Our first playthrough. It's about six hours worth of content. Six and a half. Note that what tanks you get each time ends up uh, changing each game. Dude, I hope we get that tank again. That tank was insane. But, yeah, it looks like that's going to be the end of this playthrough. Um, I'm really, really excited about this game. I, I cannot wait for some more development to happen here. So, uh, again, I've got links in the description, guys, for, for their Patreon, their Discord server and the store page on steam so that you guys can check out the game if you guys are interested again the game is arms trade tycoon tanks but uh, thank you guys so much for joining me and if you like what i'm doing punch the like button leave a comment below subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and as always i will see you in the next video